Hello and welcome to ECA in southern France near Toulon. Daniel Skorzig, you're the Vice President of Strategic Programs here at ECA. Can you please tell us what is Moric? Moric is a naval architecture company acquired by ECA a few years ago in order to support ECA uh, in the integration of our um, toolboxes, uh, system for robots on board uh, vessels, either new vessels or uh, I would say uh, vessels that need to be upgraded uh, as part of their uh, through life refit. ECA is not a shipbuilder, but specializes in unmanned systems. What's the reason behind the acquisition of Moric? The, the, the reason behind the acquisition of Moric is the fact that uh, to integrate a system of robots, uh, a toolbox on board a vessel, is not only a matter of having a deck size, having a hangar, and having a crane. It's much more complicated than that. Uh, because you need to optimize the, the, uh, the, um, the use of the system, you need to try to increase also the uh, operating window for uh, operating the, the, uh, the, um, the robots and for launching and recovery of them. And you need also to take into account that, that you need to maintain the system of robots on board the vessel. And this is all that, that uh, together with, uh, with uh, ECA, uh, Mori can bring to the customer because the main target is the customer, it's not the, uh, it's not the vessel itself. Can you tell us about the Octopoda range? The Octopoda range is a range of vessels that, um, designed by, by, by Moric that is uh, derived from uh, already in service uh, vessels that have been sold to, uh, to uh, several navies in, in the world. And the vessel has been uh, optimized for integrating the toolbox and for, uh, as I said earlier, and for the launching and recovery of, the, of the, uh, the various systems, but also for the maintenance is the reason why they are fitted with a system to be able to launch and recover the, the, the robots, but also uh, for the, large, uh, the largest version of Octopoda, Octopoda 500, uh, fitted with an hangar for the maintenance of the systems. What are some of the key features of the Octopoda design? So, as I said, Octopoda is, uh, is designed for uh, opt um, optimizing the integration of the toolbox uh, on board the vessel, but the, uh, the main feature of uh, Octopoda, one of its main features, is to be able to carry out, to conduct a standoff MCM. It means that uh, up to, uh, I would say, a few years ago, uh, the, the mine hunters had to enter the minefield, and uh, with the Octopoda concept, the, um, the mine hunter can uh, remain outside the dangerous area, outside the main area, and the robots only uh, will enter the minefield. It means that uh, the, uh, the uh, ship is not endangered and uh, the crew and the ship always stays uh, out of the danger area. Daniel, can you please give us examples of uh, ongoing programs where naval architecture is key? Mm. Uh, one main program that you heard of is uh, the Belgium and Dutch Navy program, uh, where the integration of the uh, toolbox is uh, paramount for, for the use of the system. And we have also uh, just won a contract for the uh, modification and an upgrade of uh, current, uh, what we call legacy MCMV, where toolbox will be integrated on board, uh, on board the vessel. And uh, this is also, and we're also promoting the uh, Octopoda vessels uh, worldwide for customers that uh, require uh, an, an um, underwater mine warfare force to protect their, their, their coast and their, their country. As a conclusion, we can say that the uh, Octopoda uh, vessel and uh, its toolbox uh, keep the uh, crew and the uh, equipment outside the danger zone and uh, keep uh, the equipment and the personnel safe.